Grand Matsun raised her head and saw Mu Yurong, immediately becoming angry at her, who are you scolding? Bumping into someone and still having such a bad attitude, previously, Mu Yurong would definitely not personally go to buy fruit. But now their household no longer has servant, can't you watch where you're going on the road and still blame me? Mu Yurong dares to be arrogant like this because she knows that her family has gone bankrupt. At this point, Mrs. Tsun suddenly fell to the ground, pretending to be in pain, ouch. I'm in pain. Call the police. I want to call the police. There's someone here bullying this old lady, the police were patrolling nearby and rushed over immediately after receiving the call. With no cameras at the scene, no witnesses, the police had to escort these two to the station. It was at this moment that a tall figure walked in, hello. I am this old lady's relative, okay. Please come this way. Inside the room, Mu Yurong refused to apologize to Mrs. Tsun, no one falls down just from a bump. I'm not apologizing. Clearly she wants to bother me, hearing a noise, she turned her head towards the door in shock, why is fifth master Tsun here? Mu Yurong's breath froze as she secretly speculated, could it be that he's here because of me? Thinking of this, she was extremely excited, her heart feeling like it was about to jump out of her chest. But Sin Xiao Qing went straight to Grand Matsun and stopped. He asked the old lady with concern, Are you okay? Are you injured anywhere? Mrs. Tsun snorted coldly and said, Bitten by a mad dog. No need to worry. Let's go. Something exploded directly in Mu Yurong's mind. The blood immediately reversed, her face turned pale, staggering back a few steps, Grandma, how are you? You're old, and I often curse this dog. Is this the grandmother of Fifth Masterson? What exactly is happening? Is she dreaming? Grandma Tsun purposely looked at Mu Yurong, with a smile on her lips. Without thinking, she knew that Mu Yurong would regret it deeply. Who told this woman to look down on others with such disdain? If she knew that she was Tsun Xiaoqing's grandmother, she would surely treat this old lady as her ancestor. Fifth Master Tsun is her fiancé. Thinking of this, Mu Yurong immediately chased after them, Fifth Master, wait a moment. He looked up and said, I am your fiancé. You can't go. Our engagement has been arranged for a long time. You can't break your promise. She had to protect her marriage. Mrs. Tsun was shocked by Mu Yurong's shamelessness. She stood in front of Tsun Xiaoqing, pointing at her and shouting, You despicable woman! Hypocrite! Traitor! At first, you were just a greedy gold digger, now you have no shame mentioning the engagement. Yurong looked at the old lady, tears welling up in her eyes, Please forgive me, it was all my fault. I don't want to break off the engagement. This was my parents' wish. It's because they hate poor people loving rich people. It's all their fault. I truly love Fifth Masterson in my heart and want to marry him. Mrs. Tsun was speechless. She had no words left to describe this woman. Forget that I overlooked your actions and words that day? A white lotus like you wanting to marry my grandson. No way. Fine. Let's go. Grandma, don't bother with this kind of person. Yurong immediately chased after them, no. Grandma, you can't leave. Please forgive me. However, Mrs. Tsun didn't give her a chance. She got into the car and closed the door. The driver started the engine. All that Mu Yurong was left with was dust on the ground. She cried out in despair, could the spring medicine also be ineffective? Is it all over for me? In the car, Mrs. Tsun looked at Tsun Xiaoqing, with a bit of worry, Child, I'm telling you, don't let this female detective deceive you. The only daughter-in-law I have is Mizhi. Mrs. Tsun worried that Tsun Xiaoqing, likely Qian Dong, was being deceived by Mu Yurong, did you hear that? Tsun Xiaoqing twisted the beads and said, I heard. Mrs. Tsun was shocked for a moment, her eyes filled with amazement, huh? What did I hear? Doesn't this child emphasize not getting married? This proves that he truly loves Ms. Yi. Thinking this, she was extremely happy. On the other side, Mu Yurong walked in a daze towards the newly rented place, Mu family. She took a deep breath and opened the door. 
Shen Rong was sitting on the sofa playing with her phone, not noticing that her daughter had returned. Yurong closed her eyes, suddenly feeling angry, playing cards. Playing cards. Only knows how to play cards. It's already 6.30, and she still hasn't cooked. Does Shen Rong really think she is still a noble lady? The more Mu Yurong thought about it, the angrier she became, throwing the phone forcefully on the table. Shen Rong only reacted at this moment, looking up at her daughter, Yurong, you're back. What are you doing? The anger inside Yurong flared up, directly grabbing Shen Rong's phone, stop playing. Yurong shouted directly, if it weren't for my mother's greed, I would now be the lady of the Tsun family. The Tsun family is not bankrupt. Fifth Master Tsun is Tsun Xiaoqing, Shen Rong was immediately shocked, speaking with difficulty, Yurong. I know you're upset, but you agreed to break off the engagement at first, Mu Yurong felt even more uncomfortable hearing this, so angry that she couldn't breathe, shut up. It's your fault, Yurong was so angry that she trembled and shouted madly, 19 years ago, you didn't fulfill your duty to take care of me. 19 years later, you personally broke off my engagement, Shen Rong's face immediately drained of color. She didn't understand why her daughter suddenly became like this. Her eyes reddening as she said, Yurong, how can you accuse us like that? We didn't intentionally mistake you for someone else, Mu Yurong looked at Shen Rong and a frightening thought suddenly flashed through her mind, what would happen if Shen Rong disappeared, seeing the hostility in her daughter's eyes, she trembled in fear, Yurong, Mu Yurong thought to herself, if Shen Rong disappears, she will be the only one left in this world. The Tsun family has been friends with the Mu family for many years, they surely wouldn't leave their former fiancé alone to face life. Perhaps they will soften and accept her back. Then she will still be Tsun Xiaoqing's fiancé. Thinking about it, Mu Yurong's expression changed, crying out, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just unhappy when I said those words. I hope you can understand. As a mother, Shen Rong will not blame her child. So she hurriedly reached out and hugged Mu Yurong, you're good. It's okay. Mom doesn't blame you. Just forget about Sun Xiaoqing. There are many good men in the world, you are good as well, I believe you will meet an even better man in the future. Hearing this, Mu Yurong's eyes lit up. Are there any good men in the world besides Tsun Xiaoqing? I must marry Tsun Xiaoqing. Anyone who tries to stop me from marrying him is an obstacle. Mu Yurong continued, Mom. Have you eaten yet? I'll go cook for you, Mom, you rest. A moment later, she turned to the living room. Shen Rong was sitting on the sofa, playing idly on her cell phone. Yurong squinted and continued, Mom. I have some things to do outside. I'll cook soup on the gas stove, please turn off the stove for me later. Shen Rong nodded, okay. Mu Yurong carried her bag out. Before leaving, she turned back to look at the boiling soup pot on the stove with a big fire. She had a meeting with Li Qian Dong, who was waiting downstairs for her. Li Qian Dong is a good friend of Tsun Xiaoqing. Now I have to hold on to him as a stepping stone. Qian Dong. Yurong, why are you looking for me? Is there anything that I can't look for you for? Li Qiandong smiled, of course you can. He felt particularly guilty seeing her at a low point in her life. But he couldn't do anything to help her. The next morning at 8 a.m., Ha Tu Dang excitedly went to the Tsun family, brother, help me set up a meeting with the idol. I can even challenge the idol to a match. Knowing that Sun Xiaoqing was working out in the gym on the floor above, Ha Tu Dang ran upstairs, Brother, I'm here. Sun Xiaoqing was indeed working out in the gym. At this moment, he revealed his strong chest, eight-pack abs, and perfect lines, with a thin layer of sweat on his body. Even a professional fitness trainer would surely be astonished to see it. Ha Tu Dang was shocked looking at Sun Xiaoqing, then he bowed his head and suddenly felt a little insecure. At this moment, Sun Xiaoqing suddenly saw Ha Tu Dang standing at the door, raising his hand calmly and saying, You came too early. Let's meet at Liaonin Mountain Road at 10.30, we can leave at 10. It's almost 10 o'clock. 
The two set off on the winding mountain road. Ha Tu Dang is about to meet his idol and is very excited, you. Do you think I look handsome today? How is my hairstyle? Is my outfit suitable? Sun Xiaoqing put his hands in his pockets and glanced at him, this is not a blind date, why are you so excited? Just then, a black Ferrari approached from a distance. Sun Xiaoqing gently opened his thin lips, here it is. Ha Tu Dang's eyes brightened, has my idol arrived? While they were talking, the Ferrari stopped in front of the two. The door opened, and the first thing that caught the eye was a pair of long legs and Martin boots. Looking up from the feet, you could see her wearing a black t-shirt, a slim and white waist clearly visible. Yijua, wearing sunglasses, stepped out of the car coolly, making Ha Tu Dang excited to call his idol. He was stunned for a moment, then took Yijua's hand and said, Idol. Hello. Finally, I have met the real person. You are beautiful. Yishua took off his sunglasses to reveal a pair of captivating monochrome eyes, hello, Mr. Ha. Sun Xiaoqing turned to look at Yishua, let's begin. Take this place as the starting point, the intersection as the end point, Yishua nodded in agreement, okay, three cars lined up ready to start, boom. Ha, Tu Dang rushed forward. Sun Xiaoqing and Yishua closely followed behind, it's only the beginning, but I can't even see the tail of the idol's car. Ha Tu Dang suddenly became excited and accelerated to chase after, my idol is indeed my idol. Even so, I won't easily admit defeat, in fact, Sun Xiaoqing was also very surprised to realize for the first time that Yishua was the person in the video. At this moment, the black car behind suddenly passed him. Sun Xiaoqing immediately accelerated as well. Seeing the Lamborghini passing by, Yishua furrowed his brow and began to accelerate. Yishua had not met a strong opponent, like Sun Xiaoqing, for a long time, yet it happens at the same time. Five minutes later, the two cars stopped at the intersection. Yishua got out of the car and whistled at Sun Xiaoqing, somewhat admiring him, very good technique. Except for you, no one has been able to compete with me so far. Hmm, this feeling is. At this moment, Yishua suddenly woke up and retracted his hand. I accidentally pressed Sun Xiaoqing's chest. Li Qiandong accompanied Mu Yurong back to the countryside to relax. It wasn't until the afternoon that he took her back. Li brother, thank you for being by my side. I feel much better now. If you don't mind, can you accompany me upstairs for a cup of tea? Sure. The two went to Mu Yurong's house. As soon as they opened the door, a strong smell came out from inside. Why does your house smell unpleasant? It smells like gas. Yurong's face turned pale as she rushed in calling, Mom. Li Qiandong also rushed in. The room was filled with a strong smell. Li Qiandong quickly opened all the doors and windows. Shen Rong was lying on the sofa, with a completely black face, showing no signs of life, Mom. Mom. Mu Yurong was terrified, lying on the floor crying, Mom. Is mom okay? Mom. Please say something, mom. Li Qiandong quickly took out his mobile phone and dialed 120, hello. Is this 120? Please come immediately. The ambulance 120 quickly arrived, causing a stir in the entire apartment building. Medical staff tried to rescue, continue to provide oxygen. Tried to resuscitate the heart and lungs, Li Qiandong looked at the scene and could deduce that, because no one turned off the stove while the soup was boiling, causing the soup to overflow and extinguish the flames, directly causing a gas leak. After listening, Mu Yurong cried loudly, It's all my fault. I should have finished cooking the soup before leaving. Because of me, however, when the medical staff checked, they confirmed that Shen Rong had stopped breathing, I'm sorry. Her mother no longer shows any signs of life, the doctor also helplessly said. When we arrived, her heart had stopped beating. We have done everything we could. Please bear the pain, the next second, Mu Yurong cried and knelt down in front of the doctor, no. It can't be. Doctor. Please save my mother. Please. Without my mother, I can't live. Please. No. 
My mother was very healthy just yesterday. Li Qian Dong's red eyes gently pulled Mu Yurong into his arms and comforted her. Yurong, no one could have predicted this would happen. Don't blame yourself too much. Mu Yurong cried on the outside, but sneered in a corner where no one could see her, as expected. It seems time has been managed very well. I was actually afraid of leaving her in a half-dead state, but now I am even more relieved. I have to take care of her. Mu Yurong raised her tearful face and said, Li brother, now it's just us. What should I do? Thinking about this, Li Qian Dong sighed and continued to comfort her, Yurong, you are not alone. You still have me, and you still have fifth brother. I will definitely resolve the misunderstanding between you and fifth brother. After comforting Mu Yurong, Li Qian Dong set off for the Tsin family. Yurong's mother had passed away, and he wanted fifth brother to know this immediately. As soon as the car reached the gate of the mansion, security staff blocked their way. Li Qian Dong was furious, but the security guard said, Mr. Li. I'm sorry. The old lady instructed us not to let you step foot inside. This is very important. I'm sorry. No matter what, you cannot enter. Li Qian Dong was stunned. He did not expect Grand Tsin to be so strict. Hello. Aunt Tuong, is fifth brother at home? He's not answering my calls. Hearing his voice, Zhu Chong's attitude suddenly changed. Oh, it's you? What's the matter, Li Qian Dong, continued, your Rong's mother died from gas poisoning. She is currently at the city funeral home, Zhu Chong calmly uttered a sound of oh. Li Qian Dong did not expect Zhu Chong's reaction to be so calm. He couldn't help but speak up angrily, your Rong is now alone and really needs the help of fifth brother, Zhu Chong, who was originally of good temperament, became angry when he heard this and said, they deserve it. It's karma. Back then, Mac Dai and Shen Rong tortured me and my mother. Now they want my house to shelter Mu Yurong? Dream on, Li Qian Dong was so angry that his whole body trembled. He continued to advise, Aunt Tuong. In any case, the Tsun family and the Mu family used to have a good relationship. Now, taking care of your children on behalf of your family is something the Tsun family should do, isn't it? Just then, Mrs. Tsun came down from upstairs and heard, she was furious, it's Mr. Dong, that toward us again, Mrs. Tsun angrily snatched the phone from Zhu Chong's hand, Mu family loses someone and then wants me to forgive that lotus. Let me tell you, it's impossible. I remember very clearly how the Mu family treated me back then. Foolish. Let me tell you, help the evil and you will suffer the consequences. After finishing speaking, the old lady slammed the phone in anger. Li Qian Dong held his head and sighed, Haze. What should I do? At that moment, a Maybox slowly approached. It was Tsun Xiaoqing's car. Li Qian Dong immediately ran up and said, Stop the car. Fifth brother. Sun Xiaoqing slowly rolled down the window and asked, What's the matter? Li Qian Dong explained, Fifth brother. Mu Miss's mother passed away in an accident. Her father is in jail. Anyway, you can't abandon your fiancé. Your own needs you. Ha Tu Dang cursed silently, Li Qian Dong. This idiot. Sun Xiaoqing, feeling bored, drove away without saying a word. Li Qian Dong quickly called out, Fifth brother. At that moment, Ha Tu Dang reached out from the window and said, This is a video of my idol racing against me yesterday. Watch it carefully and think about who is deceiving you. After speaking, Ha Tu Dang threw the USB to Li Qian Dong. The car quickly drove away. Li Qian Dong bent down to pick up the USB from the ground. Angry, he held it in his hand and thought, whatever they say, Yurong still needs help. The Tsun family must take care of her. Must, the next day, Yi Zhuo learned the news, after Mu Group went bankrupt, Shen Rong passed away due to gas poisoning. How unpredictable. Such is life. Yi Zhuo knew that despite the complex feelings, he should still accompany Mrs. Mac on her final journey. Currently, the Mu family is in chaos. Mu family's former close friends are all absent. 
Mu Yurong is the only one kneeling on the ground in the funeral parlor unable to hold back his tears. At this moment, footsteps echoed in the air. Li Qiandong turned around and saw Yi Zhua, immediately calling out, Great Deity. Seeing Yi Zhua at the funeral, Mu Yurong suddenly scolded him in anger, Why are you here? Pretending to cry like a false cat? You are not welcome here. He thought, without Yi Zhua, Sun Xiao Qing and Mrs. Sun would not misunderstand me so deeply. Yi Zhua walked to the coffin, bowed deeply, and offered flowers, regardless, she once nurtured me. Accompanying her on her final journey is only fitting. Please rest in peace. Seeing Shen Rong's face in the casket, Yi Zhua frowned slightly. Carbon monoxide poisoning individuals will have black skin. But the black mark on this neck seems abnormal. Mu Yurong turned her head to look at Yi Zhuo, wanting to reach into the coffin, Yi Zhuo. Why are you concerned about my mother's body like that? She didn't discover anything abnormal, did she? We must stop her immediately. Yi Zhuo. After all, my mother raised her for more than ten years, and she dared to insult her body. Seeing Mu Yurong being treated like that, Li Qiandong's anger erupted in an instant within his body, he waved his hand forward and pushed Yi Zhuo, stay away from her mother's body. Yi Zhuo, you better apologize to Yurong right now. If not, don't blame me for being rude. Yi Zhuo eyed Li Qiandong and felt something was wrong, let me wake him up. She used a martial arts fist to awaken this fool. Mu Yurong was terrified and quickly ran to help Li Qiandong stand up. Cold sweat dripped down Li Qiandong's forehead in extreme pain. Mu Yurong looked up at a furious Yi Zhuo and said, Yi Zhuo. How can you treat Li brother like that? Yi Zhuo pointed to the ceiling, he initiated the attack, I was just defending myself. There's surveillance camera evidence. What now? Do you want to call the police? If so, I'll wait for the police to arrive. At this moment, Li Qiandong's hypnotic effect, because of Yi Zhuo's blow was resolved. He looked shocked at Yi Zhuo, God. Did I just push you and scold you? Yi Zhuo coldly replied, it's okay. After all, you're the unlucky one, he thought to himself, why did I suddenly get so angry just now? Li Qiandong quickly apologized, I'm sorry, Yi Zhuo ignored him and turned to leave, my job is done. I'm leaving, Mu Yurong knew the diminishing effect of hypnosis, I need to speed up to win over fifth master. Mu Yurong continued with tears in her eyes, Li brother, can you use your identity to help me arrange a meeting with fifth master? I have something to tell fifth master. Li Qiandong vaguely nodded, okay. It's fine, Mu Yurong was happy, thank you, Li brother, in her heart, she was joyful, success. This time, I must win over fifth master. After leaving the funeral home, Li Qiandong called Sun Xiaoqing and arranged to meet him at a hotel, fifth brother. You finally answered my call. Can we meet and talk at a place, okay? Sun Xiaoqing agreed without asking why. After arranging to meet Sun Xiaoqing, Li Qiandong called Mu Yurong again. She was very excited to go to that hotel. At that moment, she was uncomfortable holding her stomach and vomiting in the bathroom, with a look of embarrassment on her face as she unconsciously touched her stomach. Her body was not feeling well after that night. Mu Yurong took out a clear bottle of medicine from her purse. She had to seize this opportunity, fifth master, I must have you.